Golf is at an impasse right now. Both Liv and the PGA Tour refuse to budge from their positions, and the players are following suit as well. And amidst all this chaos, we've got the Masters, which is going to host golfers from both sides. Yeah, you see where this is going, right? It's going to be a very awkward reunion for our stars. So let's dive in and talk about it. First off, the Masters reunion is going to be spicy. Over the past year or so, we've seen the Liv vs. PGA Tour feud go through all sorts of different phases. Initially, it was all about bad-mouthing each other and hurling insults, but when the league actually started to nab top talent from the tour, then panic started to set in. This was followed by player suspensions and even more public spats between members of both sides. But the beef went to a whole other level when Liv decided to file an antitrust lawsuit against the PGA Tour. Now things have been more or less the same since then, as both sides strategize for their upcoming seasons during the winter break. That being said, the 2023 season could actually turn out to be absolutely insane, especially in terms of this feud. Why? Well, because it's going to be an all-out war this year. Seriously. Since since Liv has now entered its second year, no one's gonna hold back anymore, and we could get our first glimpse at this rivalry at the Masters in April. Yep, since this is the first major of the year, it'll also be our first chance in 2023 to see both Liv and PGA Tour stars on the same field, as they all compete for that coveted green jacket at Augusta National. What's more, there's gonna be a champion's dinner at the event too, which is gonna be super awkward in and of itself. Besides, who knows, maybe we'll see some cutlery being thrown around the room too if things do get too intense. Though Though these are all pros, so they're probably just going to menacingly stare at each other. Up next, Augusta National could be the venue to end rivalries. If punches being thrown is a possibility, then the opposite could also be true. After all, even if these players don't like the idea of each other's league, they're still former colleagues and friends. So the champion's dinner will be the perfect time for them to sort out their differences and be nice to each other for a change. In fact, the PGA Tour star John Rahm also echoed these thoughts recently. Speaking at the PGA Tournament of Champions in Hawaii, the 2021 US Open champion was very candid about what he's expecting at the Masters in April. And according to him, the most important thing is having respect for the career decision of your fellow golfers. Like sure, they may have chosen a different tour, and you may not agree with their choice, but that doesn't mean you start attacking them personally, especially at a venue like Augusta National. Rom then said that if someone's got a problem with live players, they should just simply ignore them to avoid conflict. As a matter of fact, he even talked about how it's been the same in other majors over the past year, and how he didn't actually feel much animosity between between the players. What's more, the 28-year-old then added that Masters pairing could throw a spanner in the works and make things a bit more complicated. Still, he felt like this quote-unquote rivalry was more of a media-fueled thing than actual reality, as reporters love to exaggerate minor exchanges between players in a competitive sport. So for him, it wasn't gonna be an issue at all. What's more, Rom once lived players in Ryder Cup. Now obviously, John Rom won't be a part of the champion's dinner cause, well, he's not a Masters champion. And he was kinda disappointed when talking about it too, as he said, that he would have loved to be a part of it. Plus, he added that other majors like the US Open should have that sort of thing too. That being said, he was still pretty okay with the idea of having live players around, as according to him, he's got a lot of friends there and a change of tours isn't going to make things different. He talked about how he's still friends with the people he was friends with before, and how this rivalry doesn't change the way he operates around them. Though he did speak about another issue that both the PGA Tour and DP World Tour are glossing over, the Ryder Cup. If you didn't already know, the Cup has been a point of contention for months now, as both the US and the European teams debate if they want to include live golf stars within their rosters. Rom, however, thinks that whatever decision the two tours take, they've got to be on the same page, as only one team having access to live members would sort of ruin the balance. Of course, he's hoping to win the trophy with Europe and Rome, but it's going to be a pretty hard affair, especially without Saudi League members. So, pointing toward the tours, he said that some people are going to have to make some tough choices here. Not to mention, more live signings could make things worse. We're just over a month away from live golf season 2 kickoff event and yet we virtually heard no news of any new signings or any other developments in terms of a TV deal. What's more, the OWGR issue continues to plague the league as well. That said, Rom thinks that all these things are just brewing and could erupt very soon. As a matter of fact, he expects the Breakaway League to nab even more top stars from the PGA Tour before April, which would make things even more complicated for those managing tensions at Augusta National. He said that while the PGA Tour is heading in the right direction and making all the necessary changes to adapt to the new age, it won't be enough for live to stop knocking on its door. Then again for him, this competition makes the upcoming year even more exciting, because no one really knows how it's going to pan out. Augusta National, the club that's hosting the Masters, however, isn't too excited about this rivalry. In a statement published earlier, which essentially opened the major tournament's gates to live stars, the club's chairman, Fred Ridley, also talked about their position on this golf feud. And for them, it's a major no-go, as not only do these public spats destroy the virtues of the game, but they also undermine the legacies of everyone who's built the sport. What's more, Augusta 
Nationals also been adamant about the fact that it's not going to allow any part of this feud to permeate into the event itself. So I guess only time will tell how it's going to work out. Coming up, not all live stars will be present at the Masters. Yep, if you're hoping for someone like, say, Jason Cockrack to throw hands at the event, then you're going to be disappointed. Because, as things stand, a lot of top live stars may not make it to the event at all. Now, you might be wondering, weren't they just allowed to compete by Augusta National? And yes, you'd be right for thinking that. But you see, the club only allowed access in case they actually fulfilled the criteria to qualify, so they've still got to have the chops to make it in. Here's where things get tricky, though. Sure, someone like Mickelson could walk in because he's got a lifetime membership, or even Cam Smith would have no issue competing there, as he's won a major championship recently and is number three on the rankings. Those who are a bit lower down the order, however, are going to have to make up ground by competing in other tournaments because, well, live events aren't going to give them any ranking points. And if you didn't know, players need to be in the top 50 to qualify for the Masters. So golfers like Lewis Austhausen are at a pretty big risk of losing out this year. Not to mention, we could even see stars like Bryson DeChambeau getting thrown out after 2024 if the OWGR issue doesn't get resolved. Yeah, there are layers to this feud, and it's going to be super fascinating to see just how these golfers behave around each other at Augusta National in April. Now for Cameron Smith's Saudi International appearance. Yep, it looks like the Australian star has decided to cut his break short and return to action sooner than we'd anticipated. The live golf star, who's fully prepared to dominate the league this year, has chosen the Saudi International as his quote-unquote warm-up event. Now, of course, the event isn't actually small by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, the field is going to have some pretty big names this year, including defending champion Harold Varner and the top 30 players from the Asian Tour. What's more, since this is the tour's biggest event, we can expect some other big names to join the list as well. In fact, in his official statement, Smith also mentioned how Saudi International has regularly been one of the biggest lineups of the season and how it's always good to play in a world-class field. The Aussie then said that he's looking forward to taking on some familiar faces and coming back once again to experience the Royal Greens. Finally, Smith will earn ranking points at Saudi International. Taking place between the 2nd and the 5th of February at Royal Greens Golf and Country Club, this will be a pretty big chance for Cam Smith to earn some world ranking points. After all, he's not making up any places by competing in live golf events. What's more, this could also potentially give him a much-needed kick to maintain his third place in the world rankings. Not to mention if he continues to diversify his portfolio, he can end up making the ground up to Roy McIlroy's throne too. Though obviously the chances of that happening are super low, since the Irishman will be earning OWGR points at virtually every single event he takes part in, while the Aussie will be limited to these fringe events outside live. Still, the Saudi International is going to set the tone for what the rest of the year is going to be like for the world number three star, and that alone is worth tuning in for. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think there's going to be any live versus PGA Tour drama at the Masters this year? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.